Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and if you are on the May 2020 update or version 2004, you have available a cumulative update. Now, it's not anything about security. It is a optional update. If you are on the May 2020 update and everything's fine, you can skip and forget about it. But if you do have some issues, if you have some problems, simply go to your uh, settings app and the settings go into update and security and check for updates. It is a big, big list of bug fixes. And so if you have something that's wrong, maybe this is actually what you need to fix it. Um, it actually is um, has a, really a lot of stuff that it's actually f fixing in here. Uh, this was released um, to the uh, insiders on 20H2 before. Now it is, of course, because May 2020 update and the October 2020 update are the same version. Uh, now it is being pushed to everybody on the May 2020 update. And since now you are, um, you know, one third of Windows 10 users, this is uh, starting to make a lot of people on this latest version. So like I said, if you uh, have no problems, just ignore it and you know, it'll install at some point anyways, but you don't have to do anything. Just forget it, just ignore it. But if you have problems, uh, maybe it's worth it to check it out. It will bring your version. So I'm on 20H2 here, the October 2020 update. Um, you guys on the May 2020 update instead of the October 2020 update will have 19042. Um, this is for 20H2, but you will be at 19041 which is May 2020 update version 2004. The ending is important, 546. So this will be the same ending as everybody in the Insider Rings testing the, um, the October 2020 update. So bug fixes, and you should be at 19041.546 once you have installed. It might take a little while, it's a pretty big chunk of fixes so um, it goes everywhere it fixes things from Internet Explorer to all sorts of little bugs and little things here and there inside the operating system uh, of the May 2020 update one last thing a lot of people are saying when are, when are they gonna fix the SSD drive problem it's been fixed uh, more than a month ago now so uh, if you don't have that fix it's because you haven't updated your machines so check it out if you have problems if you don't just ignore it. Um, it's not necessary to actually get this now. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.